Hello everyone and welcome back here to Comic Vantage. And today we have an awesome unboxing episode and we are unboxing this absolutely beautiful KBB third party masterpiece transformer impact or otherwise known in the US as thrust. That is correct. This is a third party masterpiece edition. This third party market is absolutely insane. I mean, I don't know what's happening. They are doing such a better job than Hasbro. <laughs> and this is one I've been wanting to put in my collection for a long time. He's actually a little hard to get because I was kind of late to the party on this one. Mm. Thrust has always been my favorite jet. I don't know if it's the way the wings are shaped or the color scheme. But yeah, he is just absolutely awesome as far as design goes. I mean, everybody knows that you know the greatest jet is Starscream, but his design edges out Starscream. Mm -hmm. mm. Ah, this morning's episode is sponsored by coffee. Mm. That gives you some ideas. All right, so let's see what we got here as far as the box goes. Beautiful foil on the box, nice and sturdy. Awesome. Look at that. It really, really looks like the uh, third-party masterpiece, or that looks like the normal masterpiece editions that were coming out in the U.S. As far as like Thundercracker, and then went. I love this little transformation animation up here. All right, so let's pop the tape on the top of this. Let's get this bad boy open. <laughs> see we've got instruction manual these things are not easy to transform wow look at this it's just massive so, okay you know what i'm curious i brought tape measure because i was actually curious i haven't done that before in these videos and i really should so tip to tail we are looking at 12 inches this thing is huge all right so let's see what we got here to start with First up, we have got the actual jet itself. This is very, very, very reminiscent of the Hasbro Masterpiece Edition. So I expect it should transform very similar. We have missiles, an extra set. It almost looks like the missiles that came on a Cobra Rattler. And I'm assuming these will snap to the underside right there because we've got little pegs and little holes. We do have what looks like a spare head, but his face is popped in. So that's a little defect right there. So I can see it though. This thing probably won't be too hard to pop apart and then glue back together once that face is in place. Oh, there we go. I just got it to come. Oh, it was down. It was down. All right. Anyway, there you go. Spare head with an extra face. We have a couple illusionary pilots, which are tiny. God, these things are so small. These remind me of the old Zoids uh, pilots. If anybody remembers Zoids, the toys back in the day, uh, the pilots were about this size. And they fit perfect into a lot of Transformers, including Optimus Prime and Dinobot. You know, into in Grimlock, the Dinobot. He actually had a hatch on the back of him. One of these little dudes fit inside. I don't know why, but it did. All right, last thing we got. We have two arm cannons. Iconic. And then we have the base. Now, the base does have its own little stand here as well that out and we have two different variations looks like we can pop this thing over in the side and it's kind of low here this is exactly like the Hasbro masterpiece and a little clip and a stand the jet form will pop on here so you can actually put it in jet form or you can use this other side and the peg on the back here to put them in robot form and have them floating there really nice okay Alright, now like I said, these guys take a minute to transform, so let's 
through the magic of television. Wow, that is all I have got to say about this. Do you see this thing? Look, I put him here in this cool action pose and he's kind of floating like he's flying. Look at this, fully articulated fingers. I mean, that is just amazing. Now I did notice that the head that came with it has a white face. The replacement one has a silver face. It's actually the exact same one. They just replaced the color of the face. Oh, look at this thing. That is just beautiful. Man. All right, let's uh, check this bad boy out. I do have his legs kind of crunched in. So tip to tail, we're looking at 11 inches when he is in robot mode. That is going to stay just like that. I'm going to keep this thing displayed forever right here in this pose. You see that? Look at that. Amazing. He's going to look so good next to my masterpiece, Grimlock. All right, guys. That's it. You know, let me know if you guys like my, my toy videos down below. I've been doing a lot more of these because, you know, Comic Vantage wasn't always just supposed to be about comic books. It's supposed to be about everything. Geek, um, sci-fi, anime, movies, video games, toys, the whole nine yards. I love it all and I really want to share it with everybody. So, let me know what you think and, uh, you know, let me know in the comments below what do you think of this bad boy right here. I mean, uh, he's so cool. All right, guys. Like always, to my current subscribers, you guys are amazing. Thank you so much. Let me comment. I love talking to people. I don't know how many times i got to say that. Comment, comment, comment. Even if you don't like, you know, if you hate the video, give it a dislike. I need to know that as well. So, and uh, if you're not subscribed to the channel, hit the little CV right there. Get the bell up top. I'll let you know when i got all the cool stuff coming out like this. And like always, guys, thank you for watching. Take it easy.